no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Crap Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Here, we are back on Newbie Farm, doing a little bit of farming. Um, I am currently running the 1466 and the International Skinned uh, Glencoe. I am currently plowing field 7. Uh, I have done all of the other fields except for field 8 here, uh, so I have plow 10, 11, 6, and I'm just about done with 7 here, and then we'll plow field 8 and get started on some cultivating. Um, it actually has not taken me that long um, to cultivate, or to plow, I mean, uh, to do all of this work so far. Uh, definitely next season, if we have the money, we'd like to look at upgrading to a bit bigger of a plow if possible I'd like to get um, I don't know maybe maybe like the 2100 uh, we would have to get a much larger tractor which I was maybe we can get like um, um, where is it maybe like one of these bigger John Deere's or uh, one of these bigger internationals or something like that. Maybe like the 2670 or something. Or a bigger internet, uh, Alice Chalmers. But, uh, next season I would definitely like to get a bigger plow. Uh, just because this one is a little small. Uh, I mean, it's, it is kind of fitting for this map. Um, but I would like to go a little bit bigger. Uh, just because I don't want to be taking hour and a half to do all of these fields, especially you know as we expand our land, um, it would definitely be nice to have the uh, ability to get it done a little bit faster. But we're good for this season, so. We'll go ahead and we'll do a couple of end rows on this field. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll get this field done and then we'll take this guy into the yard and park it. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab the 1206 and hook it on to the cultivator. And uh, we'll get that done as well. So I'm hoping over the weekend here... Um, you know, I'm probably going to do some longer videos, I'll do some cutting, you know, like where I'll be cultivating for a little while and then I'll just go ahead and, you know, kind of pause the recording and just do a little bit more off camera and then go again. Um, just because I'd like to get through an entire season in about three videos. Now, I know it's kind of pushing it a little bit, but I am going to try just because it would be great to be able to show harvest and all of that um, you know all that fun stuff on this map so um, you know we'll plow this field and then we'll cultivate one field and then I will you know cultivate a bunch of it off camera and whatnot uh, I did pick up field six uh, five fields I'm going to do wheat, barley, canola, uh, corn, and soybeans. So we got five crops. We got a field for each crop. Um, so, yeah. So that way I can have a pretty good variety. So now we'll do a couple of end rows down on this end. This field definitely doesn't take very long. Or isn't going to take very long. It's not very... It's not very large good size it's more so long bigger than uh, wide which this map it does have you know you can do a you can do a wide variety of farming uh, just on this here map you can do the small scale like we're doing right now or you know getting into like field 17 and 20 you can do 
some large farming there so all kinds of uh, possibilities all kinds of options on this map okay so that one does not have collision on it which is a-okay with me all right now we're good to go see I got uh, 1.3 hours on this tractor already used a pretty decent amount of fuel actually cab just seems a little bit uh, smaller than it does in real life actually but then again I don't know it's probably just the way that it was this is that the camera view is set up and stuff like that could be a number of things but it is a great tractor and I am really happy to have a 1466 and then there's a there's some 1086s in here which we have a couple of those and well actually I think we only have one now uh, so all I need is a good 5088 and a good 2290 and uh, I'll have have all the tractors that we use because there is a 4430 out as well already not quite exactly the same as my dad's 4430 but it is close enough or actually there is one out uh, in one of the packs that these tractors and stuff came in uh, that it is quite close to the same it has the same step uh, it just is a little bit different than my dad's, but very, very close. So only got about three more passes left in this field, and then we're, we're good to go. This one we're going to be plowing a little bit of grass, but that's okay. We just got two more left, and we can uh, get this thing put away. Very well, parked in the yard. Uh, I'll wash it after we're done cultivating. And then we can wash the cultivator and this all at once, and then we can get ready to start planting. Uh, I'm not going to be using any course play on this map. Uh, if I do, it'll be just to sell like grain and stuff, probably, uh, is what I would use course play for if I used it. Um, but everything else I'm just going to do by hand because it and it really doesn't pay the fields aren't that huge and you know there's not a whole lot of work to be done all at once I mean we plow right now then we'll cultivate and then we can plant everything but the soybeans uh, the corn we'll probably wait with until we do the soybeans as well but the wheat, the barley, the canola, we can plant all that right now. Uh, and then we can also plant some winter wheat. Um, we could actually plant win uh, wheat, barley, and canola all this fall and have it ready next season. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that or not. Might just do it all in the spring. But never know. So this plow, it does take a little while to raise and lower. So instead of stopping, uh, I just, you know, I do two, three end rows. I only did two on this field, but some other fields I've done three or four. And then I just turn around on those and leave the uh, uh, the plow down because then it it doesn't I don't have to sit and keep stopping or anything. It raises up pretty fast, but it going down is kind of slow. And folding and unfolding does take a while as well. Just a little faster this way. Uh, I think I might have to do some work on this tractor because this chrome is kind of driving me nuts. Uh, it is really, really annoying the way that this chrome is and the fact that it doesn't get dirty or anything like that. Uh, it kind of is annoying me. 
or not kind of, it is annoying me very much. So, I'd like to fix it, you know, the, we got the chrome on the handle, this chrome, and then the wheels, and I believe that is it. Uh, and then on the front and the little hood ornament thing. So, I mean, it needs to be fixed. It's on a few of the other tractors as well. And it just, it needs to be fixed because it's highly annoying. You know, not only the fact that it does not get dirty, but just the fact that it's so shiny all the time is also kind of annoying. So we're just going to pull this guy right up over here. And we'll let him sit and we'll grab the 1206 and our cultivator here. See, like this tractor, I don't think is, it doesn't have as much chrome stuff on it. I see like the door handle maybe is chrome and the grill, but hopefully it's not as bad. Cool, so this folds up good with this tractor, um, which this tractor does not have enough horsepower to pull the uh, chisel anyways. Uh, the chisel requires 140 horsepower, and the 1466 it shows is 140 horse tractor so this one is only see I think this one's like 120 or 130 135 and the 14 is 140 145 so uh, we got oh it's 145 horsepower that the cult the chisel requires so running the uh, 1466 on the chisel is right on our um, required horsepower for it so anyhow we'll go ahead and we'll get a couple of end rows done here we're gonna blow smoke like crazy make this tractor work especially over on that hill right there that thing is insane uh, I didn't seem to phase the 14 very much but that's not telling me what this tractor is gonna do So yeah, the most that I'm doing with, uh, you know, like AI or anything like that is just using GPS. That's about it. I'm um, just using GPS for keeping things straight and all that. So now that we're going down the hill, we're not really smoking too bad. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead... And we are going to get a GPS line set up. And it is perfectly where I need it. We're going to adjust the uh, cruise there. Alright, we'll go ahead and we're going to make our line invisible. screenshot here so I'm just going to continue over the grass part here and just continue on into the next field uh, that's the same thing that I did when I plowed as well I just continued over it's a little bit easier I did actually consider combining these two fields but I don't know if I want to or not. I mean, I bought five, or at least five fields for a reason. I don't want to just turn two of them into one field. I'm taking out a lot of grass area here. This tractor is super nice, though. I really, really like it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll do a couple of end rows down here as well. So what I'm going to do 
is we will cultivate these two fields on camera and then I'll go and cultivate um, six and seven and then once we're getting started on 18 I'll come back and then we can cultivate that and then um, we'll uh, record video of planting uh, like starting the planting maybe planting these two fields and then um, yeah I'll figure out a way there will be a lot of cuts and stuff like that a lot of off-camera work between clips but uh, we'll make it work to where we can get through an entire season in these three videos over the weekend here or I may even actually do this video here on Thursday that's uh, actually what I might do so fitting it into four videos which will still be I mean plenty of work uh, in itself right there so this tractor definitely rolls some coal I would like uh, when we upgrade our, cultiva our cultivator I'd like to look at getting maybe the maybe like the 1300 field cultivator here or if I have to I'll get maybe something like uh, oh I don't know maybe this no because this is only six and a half meters what's our current one here five meters so it's only upgrading a meter and a half to go to the Alice except I don't know that doesn't seem quite right because that yeah, the what it says in the store for that Alice is way off because that thing is it's very large, so it's not right when it says that. So I see we got rain on the second day of spring, so we're gonna have to kind of rush wheat, barley, and canola harvest there. Uh, our soybeans and corn we don't harvest until autumn, so. I get a picture of it just blowing smoke. Except I'm not gonna get one. Not yet, anyways. Maybe when we're uh, chugging up this hill here, I can grab one of it uh, blowing some black smoke. So these videos I will make a little longer just because, you know, I'm trying to do a little bit more in a video. Um, but. But uh, normal videos, they will remain a half hour. Look at that big old black cloud. That's insane. Thing's huge. Actually, the attacher joints on this tractor need to be moved as well uh, back a little ways because they're what I didn't turn in my end field mode is not on I don't know why it's stopping hmm that's kind of strange didn't do it before Unless I pressed something, I don't know. I don't think I did. So I am skipping passes, makes turning a little bit easier. Although this thing's kind of small enough that turning's still a pain. I 
I do like this tractor even better with the uh, hydro skin on it. Normal, the other one is all this gold stuff is red. I think actually all of it's red. I don't know. I I uh, sat and tested these things out the other day. Uh, I would buy them all with whatever store options it had, you know, without changing anything. And then I'd, you know, after I bought a whole bunch, you know, I'd buy as many things as I possibly could. And then I'd tab to one of them. I'd take it over to the dealership um, and start customizing it, check out each and every option and figure out kind of what I liked the best. And, uh, you know, just to see what it had as well. And uh, everything had quite a few options. Everything was really, really nice looking. I am definitely kind of interested to see what this tractor is going to do on that hill there. Because this hill is not very big and it blows black. And it's running nearly as high RPMs as it can. Right there, that's going to be even worse. It may even go all the way up in its uh, RPMs there. Yeah, I don't know. It was just that one time that it stopped. It's kind of weird. And I know it's not very realistic that I'm going over the across the grass, but to be honest, I really don't care. <laughs> um, it's less turning, less stopping, less time. So our next pass, we're going to be on that uh, big hillside there, so we'll get to see what this thing's going to do. does on the hill and blowing black. This, all these tractors were very well done though. I like the textures on them. I love the models. Some of them could maybe use a little bit of texture work on them but you know, like the 1466 there. And kind of this thing, too, with some of this chrome. This chrome in real life is about maybe... Maybe something like the rim on the back of this tractor here. But... We should have done a couple more <laughs> end rows on here. So I actually can chug along a little faster here. I just pushed my foot on the gas pedal here and could actually go a little bit faster there on the flat part or just a little bit flatter part I guess not here not on this part <laughs> big old hillside here I'm kind of curious to see how the combine is going to do on this if it's going to be digging in and jumping around or if it'll just kind of glide right on over it I think I think the creator should have kind of pushed that back just a little bit farther and um, you know made this a little bit more level here 
mean, it didn't have to be super flat, but just not this much of an incline, maybe. I don't know. I've enjoyed this map from way back in 13 when it was first made. And that I've played it in 13. I I don't know if I played it any in 15. I don't know. I don't remember if it was out for 15 or not. But, you know, if it was out for 15, I probably did play it some. And I'll play it here in 17 as well. Just a great map. It's nice for this old school equipment here. Which, uh, you know, when my map is done, this is the kind of equipment that I will be using uh, on my map. So, uh, we're going to have to go back and get that tiny little bit. It's kind of annoying. Uh, maybe I'll just leave it and hit it with the planter or something. Or I'll, I'll work on these other passes first and then we'll see where we end on the field here and pick it up. Uh, we gotta pick up this little snippet though first. So now it's definitely really easy to tell where the uh, next pass is at. Thought I raised that up there. Guess I didn't. Come on. It's almost like my side panel's just not wanting to work. Huh, so you're going to be... you got to be kidding me. Really? Huh. And that's the width that it's at. What the heck? Well, that's always nice. have it uh, totally mess up. Thanks a lot, GPS. Now I have to do twice as many passes. Oh, gotta love it. Oh, well, it is what it is. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here. I'll just finish fixing this field here. And, uh... Then I'll be back when we get on to field 18 there. So, I will. Alrighty, guys, and we are back. Um, just about finished up here on field 18. Um, was doing some thinking on how I'm going to do things here. Uh, I am going to be uploading a video here today, uh, being Thursday. Uh, I'm gonna get this video out tonight here um, so we're going to plant the wheat and the barley and possibly the canola um, the wheat and the barley will go on fields 10 and 11 the canola is gonna go in this field here and then tomorrow um, what we'll do is we will run the field cultivator over the uh, three fields that we planted and then we'll plant the or the yeah the three fields that we planted and then we'll uh, fast forward time and we'll plant those two fields and get those weeded and then on Saturday and Sunday we can work on the harvest so definitely gonna be cramming a lot into a couple of videos but uh, we're gonna be doing the best that I can um, so yeah that's what uh, the plan is here so we'll uh we'll get this done and then we will get a pressure washer placed we'll get the two tractors the chisel and the cultivator here washed up and then we will grab probably this guy and we'll uh, get started on planting some wheat and then we'll move on to the barley and then on to the canola uh, I think what I'll do is I'll plant the wheat field myself, or like plant the wheat field, and then after that I will cut the video again, but instead of doing off camera work, what I'll do is I'll cut the video, and then I will start recording again, and that clip of planting the wheat, or the, planting the barley and the canola, I will do a time lapse of, 
and um, can do it that way and get those things to go by pretty quick. So yeah. But uh, we're on our last pass with the cultivator here. Go ahead and get that shut off. Grab our screenshot. Alright, and off we go. Wow, quite a bit of stuff on the inside of this tractor that gets dirty as well. This map definitely has changed quite a lot since uh, the last release in FS13, um, but I'm sure they had to make a lot of changes to accommodate the way FS17 is set up. Uh, Alright, let's get us a pressure washer here, see if we can't place it somewhere in this area I need to move my camera view a little bit here see if we can't get it perfect that will work right there cool Oop. I have a button on my joystick that it likes to stick um, at first the first time it happened I was testing out some new mods and I thought there was an issue with one of them that it was, uh, you know, acting kind of funny or something, causing some issues, but uh, turned out to just be the uh, button on my steering wheel because it happened one other time, and it was with something that I've used before, and it was with just that, and I was trying to figure it out, and I happened to glance down and I noticed that uh, one of the buttons was pushed up. Uh, it's one of the little joysticks here on the steering wheel. Uh, I evidently is starting to stick nowadays, so I'd have to uh, take care of that issue. So now we need to locate our seed and fertilizer, or just our seed, I guess. We don't need fertilizer, but we need to locate our seed and see if we can't figure out where that's at. So that way we can get the plant, or the, yeah, the planter filled up. So I'll go ahead and we'll back this in the shed. I think we'll use the uh, 14 for the corn planter. Maybe, or, ah, uh, we'll let this guy run the uh, weeder. I think, so... That's probably what we'll do. I think I'm going to just back this stuff in the shed a little farther than I was before. Just because it'll, uh, it'll sit a little nicer. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll just hook this guy right onto the weeder here. To our little toolbar cultivator. And we'll just back it up. And we'll drop it down and we will leave it right there. And we'll go ahead and we'll take the uh, 12. We'll get this cultivator unhooked and hook onto the drill. And uh, we'll get, looks like right there is our seed. So we'll go check that out and get that thing filled up. And we'll start drilling some wheat. Okay, I don't know what the deal is right there with the hired worker stuff. I'm really starting to think that I need to program a different, uh, some different controls for HUD Hider or something. Or I need to like program it on my joystick or something like that so that way it, uh, I don't have to keep using Alt H and conflicting with hired worker and stuff like that. So we are set on wheat already. We'll just take it over here and we'll get it filled up. And, uh, all right, we'll get 
Get that filling. And then we'll grab us a screenshot. Alright, we're all filled up and ready to go. Definitely puts a little bit of weight on this tractor. Alright, we're going to go ahead we're going to turn our GPS on. So we will, maybe we'll want to. I'll actually leave it off though for now. So field 10 here is going to be wheat. Field 11, uh, barley. Field... 8 canola and then field 6 will be the soybeans and field 7 will be the uh, corn I think is how I'll do that okay so I'm going to get this brought up the working with working with set up we're going to do three headlands we'll do three on each end of the field so what we'll do is we'll do these three we'll change the direction of our corpse and then we'll uh, go to the other end we'll do the three headlands down there and then we can work on our ups and downs passes alright so we're gonna go ahead we'll get this Flipped around here. This is actually going to work just fine so far, anyways. Yeah, I need to start using the eye control as well. Just start using that to uh, go between screenshot mode and whatnot. I think that's just going to be my best bet for now. So how are we going to line up down here? Uh, pretty well a little bit off but I'm not gonna adjust it because then it'll mess with other stuff and I really don't want to do that so instead of doing three headlands down here I will do four you know like three full ones in addition to this little snippet just so that way we have at least three headlands in here Way too fast. Came in a little too hot there. Alright, so we'll just do one more and then uh, we can get started on our other rows. Didn't really even let this tractor get fully dirty before.
Oop, I wasn't gonna make that one there for a second too. So yeah, like I said, I'll plant this field while filming normally and then uh, the other two fields I will do a time lapse of. <clears throat> um, that way, you know, first off, the video isn't going to be, you know, it'll make the video that much shorter. And second off, it's just a little bit easier. I don't have to come up with something to talk about. You know, kind of gets boring after a while. I'm sure to listen to nothing but the tractor. Or maybe I don't know. I think I could also. I could just uh, do this planting off camera. In fact, I think that's actually what I'm going to do because with the time lapse. Lately, when I put music in a video, it has not been being very cooperative in exporting correctly. So instead of having to deal with that headache, I think what I'll do is I will just finish planting this field and then I will plant the barley and the canola off camera. And that'll make it uh, a little bit easier and you guys don't have to see all the planting even in you know a faster speed it'll just make things a little bit easier uh, to do at least on my end here and then I can also try and get this video out as soon as I can tonight as well As you see right here, it is 3.19 already. Um, I'd kind of like to have it up by 6 o'clock, but I have a feeling that that won't happen. But I just I want to get it up as early as I can. And when I upload it, I'll set it to scheduled for 6. But if it's not up by then, it'll just go public whenever it gets done uploading. This is a pretty nice little drill here. It is using seed like crazy. It's already 58%. Down to 57% now. And we're only... Well, we're a little better than halfway done with this field. be pushing about an hour or so by the time we get done with uh, this field it's not too bad definitely not going to become a regular habit that I record an hour long video but just for this weekend uh, I'll be making an exception so I think I may also uh, drop the straw during harvest season that way we can uh, like lease a forage wagon or something or buy one and then um, that'll give us the ability to make a little extra cash off of our wheat and barley uh, by selling the straw that we get from it uh, and then that'll give us a little bit of extra wiggle room there with money yeah my attacher the attacher joints on this tractor really need to go back because even this drill is like way off of where it should be. But it's still a pretty awesome tractor. I have no other complaints on this one. Just the chrome and the attacher joint. 
location. But that's nothing that I couldn't fix if I was really that bent out of shape about it. But I'm not. Maybe at, at some time or another I might go in and fix it if I get that bored and that annoyed with it. Otherwise, I'll probably just leave it the way it is. I also need to uh, get my headset charging so that it's uh, all charged up and ready to rock. GPS, so we're just gonna shut that off. These rows here, they're easy enough. They're a little bit smaller than the planter is, so just gotta drive in the middle of it, and I'm all good. Maybe I can even do it in cab here. No, not really. It's kind of hard with three-point implements in cab sometimes, because it's they're so much closer to the tractor, so it makes them a little bit harder to see. Beller in a little bit there. Blowing a little bit of black smoke. All right, one more pass and we're done with the wheat. And then I have to go fill this thing back up and get ready to do the barley. Alrighty guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, tomorrow we will, uh, or, well off camera, I'll plant the barley and the canola. And then uh, tomorrow we will fertilize these fields and get the corn and soybeans planted. And then uh, on Saturday we'll finish up that little bit of uh, fertilizing and start on the harvest. But that'll do it guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.